Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to install a rear lockout valve on your John Deere 300 series tractor. If you have a John Deere 318, 322, or 332 tractor, your tractor has two hydraulic levers. The outside lever operates the rock shaft that operates the three-point hitch or the mower deck. And the inside lever would operate the up and down motion of a snow plow if you have one of those installed. And when using the plow, the outside lever actually operates the angle motion of a four-way blade. And since those hydraulic ports for the plow are shared with the rock shaft hydraulic cylinder that operates the three-point hitch and deck lift, there's a couple of problems that happen from that. The first problem is that the angle motion of the plow tends to be a little bit slow. And the second problem is that on some tractors, there's a difficulty for the plow to maintain its angle that you set it at while you're trying to push a heavy load. So what the rear lockout valve does is it locks out the rear hydraulic cylinder for the three-point lift and the deck lift, and then all the flow for the hydraulic fluid can be directed up toward the front ports for the plow, and that results in faster operation and the ability of the plow to be able to hold its angle better. So what I'm gonna do in today's video is I'm gonna uh, operate the plow before we put the valve on, and then we're gonna walk you through the installation of the valve, and then we're gonna operate the plow again afterwards and see if we see improvement. All right, so let's go ahead and fire up the tractor and see how the plow works now. So the valve I'm going to use is from a company called Auxiliary Hydraulics, and they have a kit that's for these tractors that comes with the valve, um, a fitting, and some sealing compound. And this kit will run you about 50 bucks. I've been told that you can also source a, the appropriate valve for this through a place like Granger. Um, I didn't really look into it. I decided to go with the Auxiliary Hydraulics parts just because they've been proven. Um, I've heard a lot of good feedback about them, so I decided to go with these. To install this, you're going to need a 7 16 9 16 and 5 8 open end wrenches. We'll be disconnecting the hydraulic hose at the bottom of the lift cylinder, removing the fitting that's in it now, replacing that with the fitting that was provided in the kit, installing the valve, and then reinstalling the hose. Seems pretty simple, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, you are going to lose some hydraulic fluid there, so it's a good idea to put some kind of a tray or something underneath to catch that.
All right guys, so the valve's installed. Um, all you gotta do for the operate this thing is when it's in like it is right now, that's when it's gonna lock out this rear hydraulic cylinder. You go ahead and unscrew it out. That's gonna operate like the tractor would have operated before without this valve installed. All right, so let's go ahead and fire this thing up and uh, see if we got any improvement on how fast the angle operation works.